It's an invention that took on that of a growing sport. Go-ped racing is rather unique, and the athletes that are excelling are doing so combining many different elements of action sports. When it comes right down to it, the tricks that are being pulled off on go-peds are ridiculously progressive. Today on Coach's Corner, we'll talk with some of the best in the sport, as go-peds appear to be here to stay. Some are on Coach's Corner with action sports. Stay with us as we get upside down with go-peds. Welcome to this edition of Coach's Corner. Hope all of you guys are having a great summer. Just something else for you to do, go ped racing. We'll talk about that in just a second. But let me tell you who I have on the show. These are all great guys. This is Rick Walker. He's a go ped racer. He has two sons that are also into go petting. He's an IGPA board member, which is the International Go Ped Association. That's the racing side of it. And also join us today, two great action sport athletes in this sport of go ped racing. We've got Brandon Curry. Now, Brandon's in high school at Monterey Day. He picked up the sport about five and a half years ago. He can do all kinds of different tricks, including that of the progressive backflip in which you saw in the open. Also joining us today is Chris Brown. He's uh, going to MMI. He went to Birmingham High School. Chris, also a fabulous uh, go-ped rider. He's been in the sport only two years, but already ripping in this sport. A couple ways you can reach us every Thursday night, in which we are live every Thursday night at 7.30. You can go to our website during the week. Cox3.ocnow.com. You can log us an email. We have had received emails this week for GoPed Racing, so we thank you for that. But uh, hey, guys, let's get right into it because you guys pretty much introduced me to this sport through my Athletes in Motion show on Channel 3 months ago. And, and Rick, when I got the footage, I popped it in. I mean, I, I was thinking, what am I going to see here? You know, because I get tapes all the time. I was blown away. I was blown away at the caliber of tricks that's going on in this sport. When you look at Brandon's only been riding, well, he's been riding five and a half years, and Chris, two years, and what they're doing, it kind of is mind-blowing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, they've taken a lot of the things from BMX, and they've taken a lot of things from motocross and integrated it into the go-ped sport. This sport, does it have the, the flavor, does it have the bite? that can push it into like an X Games capacity. Uh, can you see that happening someday? Or you know, is it that they're going to be competing with the FMX guys? Really, Paul, there's two different segments. There's go -ped racing and there's go -ped freestyle. The, the, the um, um, freestyle end of it, like right. the, the FMX stuff that they do in the parks. And right, they're, that doing, they're doing that already. They were part of the core tour this past weekend down at Venice Beach, and, and we're going to be approached um, for part of the X Games in the future. Excellent, excellent. It's going to be a lot of fun. And Brandon, tell me about this. Five and a half years you've been riding a go-ped? They must have started out as kind of pretty basic things with not a whole lot of power compared to what they are today. Yeah, I got my first go-ped, yeah, about five and a half years ago. Just a, a regular sport, goes about 17 miles an hour, wow. real slow. Just got it just to have fun, cruise around the neighborhoods. And I was just bored one day, went down to the go local go-ped shop and <clears throat> and then asked him when a race was and we, we ended up going to a race and then I got into it from there. It's amazing. I bet you one of the first things you, you did on a go pet is probably hop a curb or something like that and kind of get the feel of what that, that feeling is like jumping. What is the feeling like? Can you compare it to anything else? It's kind of hard to compare it to a skateboard, but maybe a bike or something? Yeah, it's kind of like a bike. Uh, it's more like a, it's like a skateboard because you're on a deck and then it's like a bike because you have handlebars and you can lift up. Right. You don't really have to ollie. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. And, and Chris, we're going to take a look at some highlights here. And, uh, you know, you, you're coming off a, a show this past weekend. And your thoughts about what we're seeing here, because this is all kinds of different stuff. And you freestyle. Even a police officer gets on it and crashes. <laughs> but uh, your thoughts, is it enjoyable? Are you addicted to it? Yeah, I'm addicted to it. I used to race motocross, and now I've been riding these, and it's just been a lot of fun. Is there a certain age that, you know, we've got a lot of young kids watching this show. What's, what's the youngest that you've seen a, a kid out there that can ride one and do it well and understand that there's a throttle and they understand that this thing's got some kick to it? Um, I would say pretty young. I, I don't know if I've seen some pretty young kids riding them. Most of the kids that you see are at the races and stuff in the amateur classes are all of the younger group. Yeah. 
Does this, you know what this reminds me of? It's just, I was just thinking about it. This reminds me of like the NBL or the ABA, the uh, bicycle motocross. When it first started, you guys were on tracks, and then of course it propelled into jumping and then progressed from there. But that, that kind of, is that a good analogy for this sport, where it's at in this infancy of time? Yeah, exactly, Paul. It's just getting started, really. Um, the, these, uh, these races that we're conducting now, we're just spreading out. We've had uh, three races so far this year. Um, the next one is going to be in Rialto on July 12th, 13th, and 14th. Um, there's really a lot of different classes. Um, Chris mentioned about how young. There's kids as, as young as seven years old racing these things. We have a junior class that's 13 and below. And they're just getting out there and busting dig. It's fun. And what we're seeing here is just seeing a lot of freestyle stuff going. Right. And, and of course, that's what you guys can do. But but you also have the other side. And I want to go back to Chris because Chris, we were in the highlights and we didn't get to see your face. Yeah. <laughs> and you you kissed it pretty good on that right side. Can you kind of turn towards me a little? Yeah, you got it pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> what happened there? Uh, I was just at the core games this weekend down in Venice Beach, and uh, we were just uh, the pro BMX guys let me hit their ramp or their dirt jumps and. I hit him, and then the last day, I ended up crashing. You had a helmet on, though, right? Yes, it's I did. just one of those things where you hit the side yeah, of Yeah, I just scruffed my face a little bit. Now, what, you know, there's a lot of different tricks. You guys are doing 360s. Uh, you're doing you do a lot of deck grabs. What is an, what is an Antoine Air? It's just a no-footed one-hander. OK. And then okay. you just extend them. And you're throwing down big Supermans and that kind Supermans, of stuff? Supermans, yeah, Superman yeah. deck grabs. It's yeah, and, and what about, like, tail whips? Uh, um, there's actually a ped that uh, Team gonads make it's a it's a gyro, so you could flip the bars, okay. so, and it, so it spins right now. Like they got uh, the cables get caught up, right? But they have a gyro system, kind of like the bikes. For that's it. obviously going to be the main. I'm sure that's going to be the state of the art one, and when it actually hits big time, because the gyro changed it changed the bike industry with the bicycle stunt. Right. Yeah. When you see this sport, what do you have any? Uh, any ties in it besides being a dad, besides being a guy involved in it uh, that's an athlete? Financially, are you tied to this at all? I mean, is there any kind of thing that you're really pushing for it? Paul, I have two boys in it, um, a 15 and a half year old and a 10 year old, and they both they both ped, and, I, and I'm a dad, and I ped with old guys, 35 and above, and fat guys, 200 pounds or more, and those are two weight class, those are two different classes. So I race old and fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but as far as um, I see a lot of uh, corporate sponsorship that hasn't really been there yet. I in my day job I manage the Minute Maid brand, and okay. Minute Maid is very proactive with uh, with their kids' businesses, and they want to get involved in things, and and they are now a sponsor of the IGPA, and, really? and we're expecting a lot you know there's another one there's other ones that I just can't talk about right now it's just in its infancy stage that's awesome and and I know that uh, Brandon you want to take this sport to another level what level would that be you're what how old are you like 15 16 years uh, old? yeah I'm 16 almost yeah. 17 um, well I came into it just starting to get the like move on to the next level I just want to take it to the next level with freestyle going into the X Games going into more competitions and then racing also getting big where we have tracks all over the place that are established that you could go to uh, with big jumps, big bank corner, just fast, uh, just crazy stuff. Right now, can't you go to like uh, the different BMX tracks? Are you guys racing on those tracks right now? Well, right now, um, a few of them will let us on. Mm -hmm. They kind of are staying away from it because of the noise. Okay. But after one catches on, another one will catch on, and it'll just keep rolling yeah, from there. Yeah, I'm sure that revenue, I, they would enjoy the revenue coming in on that, too. Yeah. You know, it's a good place to go that uh, you won't be worried about noise is out there in Mesquite, Mesquite, Nevada. I don't know if you guys have been out there for the BMX track. Great track. You know, really? You'll have to check it out. I'll have to let you know about that.